Have you ever contemplated the enigma of how we comprehend our surroundings? Have you felt the calming whisper of the wind against your skin or taken in the zesty scent of a lemon? Or have you been captivated by the mellifluous ballad of a nightingale? These encounters, dear viewers, are nothing more than sensations, the primary channels through which we engage with the world around us. Let us delve a little deeper. Sensations are pivotal to our existence, acting as the fundamental foundation that molds our comprehension and responses to the world. Imagine the picture now on your screen. It's a graphic depiction of a brain, lit up with electrical impulses. These are the signals we receive from our sensory organs, our eyes, ears, skin, nose, and tongue. They send information about our environment, which our brain translates into sensations. The feel of a, the aroma of a lemon or the melody of a nightingale. Why are sensations important, you might ask? Well, they serve as an essential connect between our physical bodies and the metaphysical mind, enabling us to interpret and react to our environment. Without sensations, our interaction, the world would be severely limited, affecting our ability to live, learn, and evolve. So, the next time you experience a sensation, be it the refreshing spray of a waterfall, the lush fragrance of fresh coffee, or the comforting touch of a loved one's hand, remember its profound importance in connecting you to the universe. Diving into the realm of sensations, we discover two massive categories, general sensations and special sensations. Now let's explore the general sensations further also known as somatic sensations. They are intriguingly diverse but can be broadly classified into sensations of touch, temperature, pain, and proprioception, or body position. The sensation of touch is our body's response to contact with the external world, and it is perceived through our skin. Here, image of skin. We can see the intricate network of tactile receptors that relay this information to our brain. Next, we have the sensation of temperature, a critical mechanism for our survival. This sensation enables us to perceive the variation in the surrounding temperature and adapt accordingly. Pain, an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience, is another general sensation. It acts as the body's alarm system, alerting us when something is not right. Lastly, proprioception, or body position, is a fascinating perceptual that allows us to sense the position and movement of our bodies, even with our eyes closed. This is primarily perceived through our muscles, image of muscles, and joints. Through a complex system of sensory neurons located in these areas, our brain constantly receives information about our body's position, helping us move effortlessly. In short, general sensations play a vital role in our day-to-day -day interaction with our environment, and they are perceived through an extensive network of receptors scattered throughout our bodies, especially in our skin and muscles. Touch, an essential and primal of all senses, is perceived through something known as tactile receptors that are embedded within our skin. Intriguing, isn't it? These receptors are specifically designed to detect and interpret stimuli like pressure, vibration, and texture. Let's delve a bit deeper into this. As you can see from the image, these tiny components are evenly scattered throughout our skin, always ready to pick up any tactile changes happening around us. They act as a bridge, connecting our physical world to our brain's interpreting powerhouse. These tactile receptors come in different types, each responsible for sensing different kinds of touch sensations. Some detect the gentle whisper of a breeze against your skin, while others warn you of the searing heat of a hot pan. The touch sensation is not just about feeling things. It plays a pivotal role in our survival and daily navigation. It helps us perceive the world in a more profound sense, bringing a deep awareness about our environment. So the next time you feel the warmth of a loved one's hand or the cool touch of water, think about the complex mechanism happening underneath your skin, courtesy of these amazing tactile receptors. Temperature sensation is an intriguing phenomenon. It is brought about by specialized nerve endings known as thermoreceptors. These thermoreceptors are sensitive to changes in temperature. Their primary role is to alert us to changes that occur in our external and internal environments, thus keeping us safe from potential harm. Now, let's delve a little deeper. When the temperature around you changes, these thermoreceptors send signals to your brain. If it's cold, they'll send messages indicating the need for warmth, perhaps triggering a response to put on more clothing. Conversely, if it's hot, they might signal for the body to sweat in order to cool down. This functionality of thermoreceptors is crucial for maintaining our body's homeostasis, a state of steady internal conditions. Without thermoreceptors, we would not be able to adapt to temperature changes effectively, 
putting our health at risk. In essence, these tiny sensory receptors are like our body's personal thermostat. They constantly monitor and respond to temperature fluctuations, ensuring we remain comfortable and safe, regardless of the weather conditions outside. Pain is an intricate sensation that serves as our body's alarm system, alerting us to the possibility or reality of damage in our tissues. It's not just a simple warning sign, but a complex interplay of signals and responses in our nervous system. Let's delve deeper. This cascade of events begins with nociceptors, otherwise known as pain receptors. These are unique nerve endings that are incredibly sensitive and are found throughout the body. They have the capacity to detect extreme temperatures, excessive pressure, and harmful chemicals, all of which can cause tissue damage. When these nociceptors are activated, a series of nerve signals travel to the brain, which interprets these signals as pain. To better understand, let's visualize this. Imagine nociceptors as tiny alarm systems scattered around your body. Display image of nociceptors interspersed within tissue structures. When they sense a potential threat such as a burn or heavy pressure, they send signals racing up the nerve pathways towards the brain. These signals carry the urgent message that something is wrong. Display image of nociceptors sending signals. So as you can see, pain isn't just a single sensation, but a complex response system that is crucial for our survival. Our understanding of our body position, also known as the kinesthetic sensation, forms an integral part of our physicality. This sensation is perceived through specialized sensory receptors known as proprioceptors, embedded deep within our muscles and joints. Let's delve deeper into it. Visualize an intricate network of tiny structures, somewhat like nodes, present within our body. These are our proprioceptors. They are the unsung heroes that work tirelessly to keep us aware of our body's position and motion. Imagine a ballet dancer, pirouetting with an unerring precision, or a gymnast executing a flawless backflip. This seemingly effortless grace and confidence are largely due to these proprioceptors. Now let's switch gears and take a closer look at these micromarvels. On your screen, you should be seeing detailed images of proprioceptors nested within our muscles and joints. Each image serves as a testament to the complex yet incredible system that supports our every movement. These images provide an unparalleled insight into the biological wonder that is proprioception, revealing the beauty and intricacy of these tiny powerhouses that keep us moving confidently and gracefully. Let's now dive deeper into the fascinating world of special sensations. These distinct sensations are not like the general ones. They are perceived through dedicated organs, each specialized for a particular type of sensation. Let's explore them one by one. First off, we have vision, the beautiful gift of sight. This is made possible by our extraordinarily complex eyes. Next up is hearing. Have you ever stopped to consider how the gentlest whisper or the loudest thunderclap reaches your brain? It's all thanks to the intricate system of our ears. Then we have the sensation of taste. Ever wondered how we discern sweet from bitter or sour from salty? It's all in the minute details of our taste buds located on the tongue. Moving on to smell, let's take a moment to appreciate the olfactory system. It gifts us with the ability to perceive a range of scents, from the delicious aroma of a home-cooked meal to the sweet scent of a blooming flower. Lastly, we come to balance, a sensation that's not often considered but is crucial for our daily tasks. Our sense of balance is maintained by the vestibular system in our inner ears. So, there you have it. A detailed exploration of our special sensations, each with its dedicated organ, working tirelessly to give us a complete perception of the world around us. Our vision, a complex and intriguing process, is perceived through our eyes, which act as the windows to the world. Through the intricate structure of the eye, light and color are absorbed and an image is formed. This process begins with the cornea, the clear outer layer of the eye. It's responsible for focusing the incoming light onto the retina, similar to a camera lens. Now, if you imagine our eyeball as a sophisticated camera, the retina would be equivalent to the film. This thin layer of tissue located at the back of the eye is heavily populated with photoreceptors, which send visual information to the brain. These photoreceptors, specifically rods and cones, play a crucial role in detecting light and color, respectively. Let's take a closer look at these photoreceptors. Rods are sensitive to dim light and are responsible for our night vision. Cones are responsible for detecting color and detail in well-lit conditions. A microscopic view of the retina would show you the densely packed rods and cones, 
each contributing to the vibrant tapestry of our visual experience. Images will be incorporated throughout this explanation, a detailed structure of an eye to supplement the initial part of the discussion, a microscopic view of the photoreceptors in the retina, showing where the vibrant colors and light we see are detected and translated into visual information, and an artistic representation of how these elements come together to create the stunning visual tapestry we perceive every day. Hearing, an intriguing process, is mediated by auditory receptors located within our ears. These receptors are specifically designed to transform sound waves into neural signals. To provide a vivid understanding, imagine a detailed, high-resolution image of the human ear, a complex structure that beautifully captures sound waves from our environment. Now, delve a little deeper into this image and you'll discover the auditory receptors, looking much like a field of minute hair cells. These receptors are the true heroes, converting those captured sound waves into neural signals, these signals, once they reach the brain, are interpreted and categorized as either music, speech, or noise. Visualizing this process helps us appreciate the intricate marvels of our body's design. Taste and smell, the twosome at the helm of our gastronomic adventures, operate in unison to elevate our culinary experiences. Let's delve deeper into how these two work. Firstly, we have taste. Our taste buds, thousands of them studded on our tongue, have the job of detecting five basic tastes. Imagine a microscopic field dotted with tiny sensors. These are your taste buds, cue to an image of magnified taste buds on the tongue. They run the gamut from detecting the sweetness of a strawberry to the saltiness of pretzels, the sour tanginess of a lemon, the biting bitterness of dark chocolate, and the savory delight of umami found in foods like tomatoes and cheeses. The second half of this dynamic duo is smell, governed by olfactory receptors nestled within our nose. These receptors are like an army of tiny scouts, picking up a myriad of smells and sending that information to our brain, cue to an image of olfactory receptors in the nose. This isn't just about detecting a burning toast or a bouquet of roses. It's about adding an intricate layer of depth and complexity to our perception of food. It's these smells that make you salivate at the aroma of freshly baked bread or the wafting fragrance of a brewing coffee. Together, these taste and smell work in unison, making each bite of our food a symphony of sensations. Finally, we arrive at the sense of balance, otherwise known as equilibrium. This is perceived through an intricate system located within our ears, known as the vestibular apparatus. Now, let's delve a little deeper into this. Imagine an intricate network of fluid-filled canals, chambers, and sensory cells, all working in harmony to keep us steady and coordinated. This exceptional system detects variations in our body's position and movement, ultimately assisting us in maintaining an upright stance and smooth coordination. On your screen now, you should be able to see detailed images of the vestibular apparatus. You'll notice the semicircular canals responsible for detecting rotational movements and the autolithic organs which sense linear accelerations. All these structures work together to give us our sense of balance. Remember, every time you walk without tripping or stand without wobbling, it's this hidden wonder in your ears doing all the hard work. Fascinating, isn't it? As we wrap up, the sensory system is a complex web of receptors and neural pathways that equips us with the ability to experience and engage with our surroundings. It's the connection that binds us with the world around us through general sensations like touch, temperature, pain, and body position. Additionally, it enhances our interactions through special sensations, such as vision, hearing, taste, smell, and balance. These sensations not only enrich our experiences, but also add vibrancy to our existence. Imagine basking in the warm rays of sunshine or relishing the diverse flavors of your most loved dish. All these experiences are made possible by our extraordinary sensory system. Therefore, the next time you find yourself immersed in these sensations, take a moment to appreciate the incredible sensory system that orchestrates these experiences. These instances are not just mere experiences, but a testament to the marvel that is our sensory system. Let these images in this discussion serve as a reminder of the intricate and sophisticated mechanisms that allow us to perceive and inhabit the world.